All right, this topic is heavy. I wanted to get to it because this week I've been studying about making choices in life. And if making the choice for the right friends is important, then choosing the right partner for the rest of your life is even more important. So let's talk about it right now. So it happens. You see her picture online, you swipe up, you swipe to the right, you click, and you just gaze at the beauty and behold. That's what many of us do. In fact, statistically, 50% of marriages today is because of internet. Internet dating, internet websites, the hookup. Now personally, I'm old school. I really don't want to just by fate meet somebody online I find it very skeptical but I'd rather ha put it in God's hands and allow a divine appointment to manifest and take its place and see I think it's much more romantic now many of you are asking the question Joseph have you ever been in love and the answer is yes I had my first love in high school and she taught me all about other centeredness it was what you really call today puppy love and you see, Adam was blessed. When God designed his life companion with his own hands, from the rib of Adam, from within himself. But Adam had it easy. You see, Eve was not just the only woman around, but she was the perfect woman. But we're not perfect. And making the choice is difficult. So. Where can we turn to to make the right choices? How can we be ready? Besides looking for the right person to marry, be the right person. Because this is such a crucial decision of our life, God is not gonna leave us hanging without a rope to hold on to. You see, the decision for marriage is, as we all know, vital and consequential to our very eternal life. Now get ready because the Bible has some advice to share with us. In Psalm 37 verse 27 says, Depart from evil and do good, and dwell forevermore. For our eternal good, God is calling us to depart from evil. And that can be anything that strengthens our selfish desires, feeds the hungry wolf, and today, I'm gonna say it, pornography is a drug. I was writing a paper on human trafficking and my English teacher introduced me to a movement called Fight the New Drug. I'll link it in the description down below. They have articles that show that pornography is in fact a drug. It is so addicting that it influences our minds and discourages us and leads us into a path of depression. Now here's another advice. In Psalm 119 verse 97, Oh how I love thy law. It is my meditation all the day. Now I know that there are different forms of meditation, but the biblical method of meditation is memorizing scripture and meditating on God's word. You see, back in the day, I started with music as a form of meditating and memorizing scripture. I was introduced to a group called Sons of Korah. They're an Australian group that sing the Psalms. I'll link it in the description down below. And then in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 33 says, Be not deceived. Evil communications corrupt good manners. In other versions, it says good habits. You see, with the music nowadays, lyrics can affect our mind. With the big word going around in postmodernism, love is treated as something that's sexual. And that love is all about 
let's get it right now. You see, the two biggest web searches on the internet is God and sex. Now, why is that? It's because we are made to love. We are made to be other-centered, to give ourselves up to others. And that takes a risk. See, Jesus ultimately is our example. And he took the risk to come down and die for a human race, to become human and yet still get rejected. So what's my point? Jesus is my point. He is the life giver. He is the one who lived the life that we were supposed to live and died the death that we deserve. And we can't make it without his grace. There is one of two things that God will do in your life through the storm that you are going through. He will either give you the endurance to climb the mountain, or he will remove the mountain by faith. And Jesus put it this way in Matthew chapter 7, verse 12. Therefore, all things whatsoever ye would that men should do to you, do ye even so to them. For this is the law and the prophets. My friends, this is the golden rule. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. And that goes as well as in ministry. If I was living in the world, which I was, and Jesus is coming soon, I would want someone to tell me. Question of the day. How often do you find yourself wishing that your spouse or others had traits or characteristics that you lack? Leave a comment down below. Give a thumbs up and subscribe for more content in the future. My name is Joseph and by the grace of the living God, we will talk to you later.